Hello there, this is a short video about uh, the element system and the elements wheel um, and the findings and philosophy behind it in a sense. It's more findings than philosophy really um, and, and how useful it can be uh, in so many situations in terms of um, well, a great deal in terms of handling yourself really because um, obviously we are in some ways our most challenging work um, uh, so I just want to say a little bit about that uh, because um, what we find in looking at the wheel is that it's made up of uh, relationships between different energies and the energies do form a whole and in their wholeness they work brilliantly yeah they, they are uh, amazing and uh, they are what basically under underlies um, life really um, so it's tremendously useful to see this but you also see from this um, that um, different energies can fall into what we've termed uh, shadow or shadow forms and the idea of shadow is I think very interesting because uh, and I think it's a good term you know uh, and it shouldn't be one which is treated with a kind of value judgment you know that shadow is bad or something uh, shadow is challenging shadow is difficult because life here is difficult um, so uh, it's just one of those things it's a condition of the outer world in the sense that you meet this difficulty and it's a condition of being here that you meet this difficulty but in meeting this difficulty you also find your potential so the thing I like about the term shadow as well is that um, poetically it's useful uh, because of course we all have a shadow and our shadow is dependent upon our actual shape yeah our shadow is accurate yeah uh, uh, and there are two possible problems with approaching shadow um, one is that you can uh, get completely immersed in it in which case you lose the fact that it is a shadow and that although it's yours it's accurate and it's cast by you it's not actually you if you see what I mean uh, it, it's 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 indicative of you but it's not you uh, in your fullness in any sense and so becoming immersed in shadow uh, it would be very very limiting yeah and you see this in people this tends to manifest in all sorts of negative things rigidity hysteria uh, negative emotions uh, lethargy uh, uh, mania <laughs> Uh, you know, it's just like extreme vulnerability, uh, uh, inappropriate attachment, all sorts of things can be can can be a sign of being kind of immersed in shadow. Yeah. The other problem is to uh, pretend that shadow isn't as an accurate depiction of, of of yourself in outline. If you see what I mean, it does relate to you, um, and and so it's an important part of your self-knowledge yeah if you think about it uh, um, in nature there will be two ways of, of uh, getting a view of yourself one is to see the shadow that you cast which shows your shape and the other would be if you could find uh, for instance a really kind of like some sort of clear still water then you could look into the uh, into the uh, into the reflection and see and see yourself and see a reflection of yourself or at least of your face yeah and um, so uh, shadow is is even poetically you see shadow is part of how we understand how we see ourselves how we know ourselves uh, so it is uh, it is really interesting however if we're thinking about shadow and we're thinking of the um, the troublesome side of it which is to be absorbed in it or indeed to completely reject it um, uh, and, and pretend that it's not you at all um, then there are certain things that this brings up and one of the things that it brings up is that uh, it engages all of these uh, negative aspects of yourself 
and it engages negative aspects of other people. And one of the challenges here is that when um, someone you're in a relationship with or around, simply around, if they go into their shadow side, which is to say they become absorbed in that limitation where they behave negatively because the energies are not in proper relationship with each other and so uh, you get these the, these negative manifestations negative emotion or uh, negative mental things or a lack of um, a real lack of, of, of energy for instance or, or whatever it is if somebody around you is like that it will tend to uh, it will tend to put you into your shadow, if you see what I mean. And at that point, you have a choice. And with good intention, you can choose to not go into shadow in that respect. Yeah, uh, you, you have a shadow. It's not going to get rid of it. Uh, it's not meant to get rid of it. But you don't have to uh, simply somehow fall into it because other people are in that state. And if you do that, it will help other people to also not stay in their limitation in that way um, so that they can actually move and grow and uh, and simply attain wholeness and, co and connection yeah and then with wholeness and connection they can uh, manifest themselves much more fully live more fully and more happily and with uh, greater greater vitality and love and these are all very important things it's part of what and I, for me, this is part of what the elements work and the wheel shows you and what it helps you to do. And um, you can look at the other videos as well that we've done or that I've done about um, about things like the way the different elemental states can help each other, uh, what helps what and what supports what. And these things are all, all, all stuff that, that really does um, help along the way for you to uh, reconnect with wholeness so that you won't be uh, you won't be stuck in in certain negative patterns in the same way, but instead you can grow beyond them. Uh, but in growing beyond them, you also learn about yourself, and that's the important thing. Shadow isn't a bad thing; it's a challenge. And um, if you understand it in that way, um, you can. It's difficult to say welcome them because it's uh, <laughs> challenges. Are difficult to welcome, but you can be, uh, but you you can, in a sense, at least philosophically welcome them, and uh, and engage in them, and seek to engage in them positively, and seek to get the hang of transforming this experience of shadow into something that can be uh, kind of released into reconnection with wholeness, which will allow you to live much better and uh, and, and be a happier person.